Welcome everyone. So my name is Andre, uh, Andre Kudra, uh, demo scene name Kudrix. Uh, I'm here uh, because I'm a long-term fan of Amiga and obviously this event. And I have the pleasure of introducing the demo scene to you tonight. Uh, hopefully most of you already know it, so I'm probably not telling uh, all of you so much uh, news. However, I would like to take the opportunity to give a little bit of insight into the demo scene, which is the famous digital arts subculture for, um, yes, for 40 something years. So actually demo scene has been around for quite a while and for those who have not heard about it, uh, please come here to the stage and join the, the presentation. So I am uh, presenting as kind of a collaboration work between Computerkunst e.V., which is the Berlin Demo Scene Association, Echtzeit Digitale Kultur, which is the Swiss Demo Scene Association, and a project called Art of Coding, which has the unbelievable job of getting the demo scene recognized as intangible cultural heritage of mankind by UNESCO. And I'm also uh, giving a little bit of insight into that tonight. So, um, I already mentioned uh, Echtzeit is uh, my key home base for the demo scene in Switzerland. It's, an, it's a non-profit association. It's uh, they are supporting the Swiss demo scene since many years and hosts uh, demo scene events like Demo Nights and hosted the very, very famous demo party Bünzli in the old days and then demo days. And now we have basically rebooted the Swiss demo scene uh, party scene uh, with Mountain Bites, you see here the shirt Mountain Bites 2023 was the first uh, yeah, reignition of the demo scene in Switzerland with parties, so Mountain Bites happened this year. And you have the chance to come to Mountain Bites next year because it's happening in 2024 also uh, from February 16th to 18th in Cham, close to Zurich and Zug. So note this in your diaries, come to the demo party Mountain Bites in Switzerland. And uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a member of this organization and uh, try to make myself useful by these kind of outreach events like tonight. So, what is the demo scene? So, it's obviously about demonstrating, but what? People demonstrate their skills and they demonstrate the capabilities of certain machines. And uh, what they produce is code which creates demos. And the demo usually looks like, uh, like a music video with animation, graphics, and sound, and scroll text, and all kind of weird stuff. And it's rendered in real time, meaning the code that runs generates the picture that is on the screen that you see at such a party at an event. And it's a completely international scene, so not bound to any national boundaries. And it is um, like a family to those who have been in the, in the scene for, for years. And obviously also a great family for new members to join. So you're all invited to look at the demo scene and uh, see if you get connected and want to contribute yourself. So it is rooted in the home computer revolution in the 80s. So without C64 and Amiga, thanks RJ, um, and uh, Dave and all the, the guys who are here for creating such beautiful machines for where, on which the demo scene guys produce demos. And uh, it has been around since the 80s and it is, um, basically started off with a copy swapper scene with uh, people uh, making their little intros in front of the cracked software and this completely evolved from this into the uh, digital subculture we call demo scene today, which is completely for focused on the artistic expression with demos. And it has a very strong community effect, and uh, it's like a family for those who are, who are in the scene. We have done a little study uh, uh, and written a little bit of an article about it. Uh, it's called Demo Scene Dark Matter, and we basically identified that technology is only a very, very small uh, piece, what makes the community. It's the people and their, their common spirit and their like-mindedness and the, the attitude that, that makes them stick to it. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, RJ. Um, so demos can be done on any platform. So obviously, mo most popular platforms are still the old school stuff like C64, Amiga, all the Atari world, and everything that you can imagine. And basically, the idea is it can be anything you can program, you can program a demo on. So in most of the demo parties, you also have a wild category where you can take your microwave and put a demo on the LCD screen or put a Duke on it. So whatever you can do, it's 
uh, it has a home in the demo scene. So it's all demonstrating your skills and what the machine can do and what you can do it. It's um, usually a collaborative effort, but some people also do their own demos. But usually it uh, happens in demo groups, so people point, join together internationally and create demos in, well, man hours, man weeks, man years, uh, actually to create demos which are then presented at the demo party. And this is all totally non-commercial, free to watch. So if you want to watch demos, it's easy to, to do so by just going on YouTube and finding, finding a couple of them. I will have uh, some of them in the presentation so that you have an idea what it is about. And um, this all happens uh, usually at demo parties. A demo can be released any, any time, but usually it happens at a demo party where you have different competitions in which you enter a demo. It can be PC demo, completely open class, no limitations on hardware. It can be size coding with only 256 bytes or 4K of, of code. It can be in Amiga, it can be in C64, it can be in Atari, it can be whatever. And uh, you go to a demo party because you want to compete in one of these competitions. It's obviously all friendly competition. People are very welcoming and help you to create your demo. And uh, it's, it's uh, an insane uh, experience if you go to a party uh, like the one that you uh, have here in this picture. It's the Evoke demo party, which is like a smaller event in Cologne. Or uh, you can go to a revision demo party or assembly in Helsinki, which is big, big events. So particularly revision is happening over Easter in Saarbrücken with around, of, around about 1,000 people on site uh, present, uh, presenting their, their demos and just celebrating together um, the art of uh, coding. That's uh, an image from revision demo party 2023. It's a, it's a, it's a big hall, um, and uh, it's, it's a very special experience to be there. So my first revision uh, was in 2015, and uh, I've been there ever since. So if you want to uh, experience the full experience, you can go to revision. But if you want to join in, uh, in a smaller event, you can go to Evoke, to, um, uh, to Deadline, which happened last week in Berlin, or to Mountain Bites uh, in Switzerland. Uh, in the revision, there is around about um, a, a thousand people on site. A thousand people on site and hundreds or maybe thousands in the stream. Yeah. It's all streamed online, uh, actually on, on Twitch usually, so you can uh, basically enjoy the party from wherever, which is called sofa scening. So if you're not attending and present at the event, you do sofa scening and watch from, from home. So we have these little flyers about mountain bikes. Uh, we obviously have the Amiga user group in Switzerland, uh, which is kindly uh, helping out with the, with the venue tonight and the stream. And uh, there is also in Zurich the Vintage Computer Festival in November, where also the demo scene will be represented also by the Amiga user group. Um, all right, let's move on. Demo parties, we had that. Um, this is an example of the different competitions. So Revision has a great lot of them. So if you want to uh, have a very prominent audience, you go to Revision because you will find any type of category that you can imagine where you can hand in your demo. Um, there is sometimes you also have categories which are not coding related. So you can hand in photos, you have freestyle graphics, you have uh, ANSI ASCII art. You have music competitions, streaming music, track music, whatever. So if you're only a musician and you want to contribute with music, you can, you can join a music competition or you join a demo group and contribute your music there. So it's, it's uh, something for everyone. And uh, it's big about preservation. Um, we have uh, repositories like DemoZoo where you can find all the demo parties and demos presented um, uh, at these parties. So it's very good of, uh, for archiving all the material. Um, I already mentioned the motivations of the demo seniors, so not repeating that here. If you want to look into the paper, it's very uh, interesting to see what people find so special about the demo scene. Uh, yeah, like-minded people, integration, teamwork, international atmosphere, and all this good stuff. So it's about uh, the people that join the scene and not so much about technology. Obviously, technology is an instrument, uh, but it's, it's more like people want to get together because they enjoy the community. So um, this is um, the reason why the demo scene is also now recognized as uh, intangible cultural heritage of UNESCO. And uh, there was a project initiated by these two great people here, Tobias Kopka and Andreas Lange, when they called it the art of coding. And this was basically the call to the community 
to apply for the demo scene being recognized as intangible cultural heritage of mankind by UNESCO. This is a very formal process, as you can imagine. It's, uh, it's driven by the cultural ministries in, this, in the member states. And uh, if you want to uh, join uh, or want to apply for being recognized as the cultural heritage, you have to go through that process that the country uh, foresees. And uh, that was initiated a couple of years ago. And since then, it was very, very successful because the community pulled together and uh, wrote these applications in the, in the States. And in fact, it is now recognized in five countries as intangible cultural heritage of mankind by UNESCO. So Finland was first in April uh, in uh, 2020, in March in 21 in Germany, and then uh, in December in 21 in Poland, and then just recently in the Netherlands, and just even more recently in Switzerland. So um, it's an ongoing process. So the demo scene is recognized in these five countries. Other countries are now writing also the applications. And the idea is to have a multinational application so that it is basically entering the world uh, list of UNESCO, which can take a couple of more years. But chances with these five in the, in the pocket already are high that it can be done. All right. So uh, all the theory, uh, I highly recommend uh, watching demos uh, real uh, live at a demo party but obviously you can also watch them as your recordings on YouTube. I have a couple of examples uh, here, not, not uh, as, as videos now here, but just uh, a couple of uh, examples of very famous and renowned demos uh, of the Amiga community in the past years. We also have something like the demo scene Oscars. They are called Meteorics. So very, um, very good uh, demos or um, well, popular demos in a year are voted by a, co a committee in the Meteorics and then they are basically prized at an event. So last year it happened at the Mountain Bites where we did the, um, the, the, the uh, laureates for the demos uh, of Meteorics last year. So hopefully we'll be able to do it again next year at Mountain Bites. So if you want to attend the demos in Oscars, you should come to Mountain Bites. And I have a couple of examples. Uh, this is uh, Electric Life Forms by Ghost Town. It's, uh, the first in this year's uh, revision, Amiga intro competition, so small uh, code only. Uh, this is a very popular one of last year, Batman Rises by Batman Group. It's an insane piece that is an Amiga OCS. And it was uh, first in uh, the Posedas 2022 uh, demo competition and it won the Meteorics Award. Uh, so if you want to look these, uh, watch these demos, there is always a QR code uh, on the slides where you can basically visit the Zoo website with a particular entry, read about it, and also watch demo uh, video recordings. I have a couple of more, more of those. So what this is portraying is Amiga is at large at the demo scene. So there's lots of Amigas every year. There's lots of great productions, even by new groups uh, in the demo scene for, for the Amiga platform. So Amiga is still a big, big thing in the demo scene. So for all of you who are uh, also Amiga heads, uh, please check out the Amiga demos uh, on DemoZoo and check out uh, them running on your own machine. So you have tons of Amigas uh, down there. Just download the images and run a couple of demos uh, tomorrow at the show. So. That's a call to action here at this point. A uh, couple of uh, more demos. Um, very famous uh, groups who have done that many years and uh, many new groups also joining the platform. All right, um, that's basically um, the short intro about the demo scene. So if you also want to read about it, um, we have written uh, as a community uh, effort an article about Amiga demos on the special issue of the return for the Amiga 500 anniversary. And it was released when the A500 Mini was released. So if you want to read about it and want to have an article um, uh, about it, it is in this return magazine. And uh, there's also many publications coming up about uh, Amiga demos uh, in the next issues. All right, obviously, I just mentioned uh, it's big on Amiga still with the demo scene, but also C64, obviously, and also uh, MS-DOS is still a thing. And uh, PC hardware, in general, is something where uh, like uh, game programmers who are on the modern platforms contribute also demos in the, in the world uh, of the demo scene. 
Uh, also, these are really uh, great uh, things. These are uh, 4K uh, intros uh, created on, on Windows, so check it out. It's in insane what demo scene people can do with only this little code. All right, um, yeah, that was basically it from a short introduction of the demo scene. So if you want to join the community, check out the discords of uh, the demo, uh, demo scene at the Demo Scene Art of Coding website, at the Echtzeit uh, Switzerland Association, at Computerkunst e.V., and uh, um, everywhere in, in the, in the, around the globe. So it's, uh, it's in fact a very vibrant, com vibrant community as of this day. It's, it's, it has been declared so, that so many times in the past that it's unbelievable, <laughs> and the demo scene is still at large, and it's, it's uh, I think, a great chance and a great achievement that we have now re received the re UNESCO recognition. So um, hopefully you are interested also in the demo scene and uh, join uh, the crowd, come to a party, and if you have any questions uh, tonight, uh, please, please come to me and ask, uh, and uh, hopefully see you around at one of the scene uh, conventions uh, called Demo Parties uh, very soon. And don't forget to come to Switzerland in February next year, uh, where we are celebrating the second version of Mountain Bites. Thanks for uh, listening, thanks for tuning in, and yeah, have a great event and have a great party. Thanks. <laughs>